Hey guys, it's John. And Kimmy. And welcome back to Virtue's Last Reward, part eight. Eight. Oh and, my god. Uh, we just got through the peck in the last episode, and now we're in another warehouse. Is this another warehouse? Looks just like the one on the last floor. There's even a big old door in the same spot where the number nine door is in the other warehouse. True, but it's rusted over. I don't think it's opening anytime soon. No lever to open it anyway, I can see. Well, shoot. We couldn't possibly open that with our bare hands. Duh. How much do you think that thing weighs? You'd have about as much luck trying to lift a pickup truck, even if it was unlocked. Hmm. I want to know what those are. Those white doors? Are they chromatic doors? Hmm, yeah, seems like it. I mean, look at this. It's one of those things that says lock. Yeah, just like the ones next to the other chromatic doors. So you're saying all the chromatic doors for the next round are white? Yeah, they were different colors before, but... Guess things have changed for this round. Before we could discuss the doors any further, a familiar robotic voice crackled over the speakers. An ambidex gate has been opened. 45 minutes remain until ambidex game polling closes. What? One of the other teams opened the gate early. What in the hell did they do that for? We haven't even started back yet. Never mind, White. We just need to get back up there pronto. I'm worried about Quark. We need to hook up with Alice and Kay. The sooner the better. Right. Got it. Let's go. Why Alice and Kay? Because they have Quark? Because... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And now the long journey back that we must see every part of. Oh, wonderful. It does take 45 minutes. Who opened the Ambidex gate? Dio? Do we even have to ask? <laughs> of course it was Dio. Uh, I'm really looking forward to the next round. Let's just start now. But no one's here yet. Yeah, I used the moon key. You got a problem with that? Yes, Dio. Everyone has a problem with that. Whoa. Someone's a little firecracker. You better believe it. You okay? Yeah. You had your zombie face on. Yeah, it's because it's like, walk, 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 walk. We return to the floor A warehouse to find only two people waiting for us. <gasps> Kay, who'd gone through the red door. And Dio, who'd gone through the green door. Where's Quark? We took him to the infirmary. So what's interesting is um, Kay's team, Kay, Alice, and uh, Quark went through the red door to the laboratory. And we went through the laboratory. The Accelivir was in the safe. So they should have the Accelivir. They should. And Dio went through the, the green, door, green door, which we don't know what's there. Right. Because we haven't seen that. Yeah, room. we haven't seen that room. Hmm. Interesting. That is At interesting. the moment, Alice, Fi, and Luna are looking after him. So, um, so Dio shouldn't have the Excel beer in this in this route. Yeah. Is he all right? I don't know if I would describe him as all right, but apparently his condition has not worsened. If that's what you mean. He is still resting. However, we... Good. I'm going to the infirmary. Ah, Tenmyoji, please, wait! Tenmyoji ignored Kay and took off at a run through the yellow door. I like that they can go back through opened areas. That's yeah. cool. Oh dear. He's gone. There was something I needed to tell him. Well, it's not like it matters. The girls will just tell him when he gets there. He ought to calm down once he's seen the kid. Clover and I looked at one another, eyebrows raised. 
Um... What are they going to tell him? Well, you see... What? You found virus medicine in the laboratory? Yes. Unfortunately, we found only a single vial. Then we can cure Quark's Radical Six. So it would seem. Well, I guess we should head over to the infirmary and see how he's doing. Come on, let's go! Right behind you. Why is Kay acting... He should weird. be fine now. It might take some time for him to recover fully, but the worst is over. Luna's voice was quiet as she stepped back from Quark. She held an injection gun with an empty vial. Delicately, she placed it back in the cabinet. Quark had been laid out on a crude cot and was still sound asleep. His breathing was even, and his expression was peaceful. He looked like any other child, sleeping soundly after a long day of doing whatever it is children do to amuse themselves. Any trace of the insanity he'd shown earlier was nowhere to be found. Is... is he really going to be okay? Yes. We analyzed the vial and confirmed that it was definitely Excelivir. Now that I've administered it... The Excelivir should eradicate the virus completely given enough time, right? Yes, that should be the case. Thank goodness. Yeah, what a relief. Things are looking pretty sketchy there for a while, that's for sure. I felt some of the tension disappear from my shoulders, and I let out a breath I hadn't realized I'd been holding. Sorry. I was just, it was just habit. Yeah, I know, you you're go good. Ahead. We weren't out of the woods yet, but at least Quark was safe. Ooh. Tenmyoji let out a long, shaky sigh and lowered himself onto one of the empty beds. He rubbed his hands warily across his face, and I thought I saw the glint of tears. Alice, you and Kay, I... I don't know what to say other than thanks. You saved his life. I don't know the words to tell you how much that means to me. Oh, please. It was nothing, really. We just happened to be the ones who went through the red door. Where is Kay? He's not in here. He's still in the warehouse. Dio and Kay stayed behind. They went there to wait for you guys while we came back here. We figured someone should explain what was going on so you wouldn't come back to an empty warehouse. So Dio and Kay were the ones who opened the AB gates? Not both of them. There was only one door open. <laughs> Hmm. Well, we should get back and tell them how Quark's doing. Kay will want to know at least. Yeah, you're right. I nodded and headed back toward the other side of the room. I was nearly there when Temioji suddenly spoke. That's right! Huh? You know that memory card we found? This thing? Yeah. I think I know how we can take a look at what's on it. What, you don't remember? There was a memory card just like it that we used to solve the puzzles in here. Yeah, he's right. There's a slot next to the screen. It should work for this one too. Let's do it. Oh yeah, there it is. Right, yeah. Well, let's give it a shot. Yeah, I wanna see what's on it. Okay, just give me a minute here. I slid the card into the slot next to the screen. No sooner had I done so than an image of a waveform popped up on the screen. Is there an audio file on here? Why don't we turn up the volume a bit? Luna tapped a few things on the screen and a bar began to move across the screen. Before long, a voice drifted out of the speakers. the sound of my voice, huh? Well, I gotta be honest. It's getting pretty lonely over here, too. Feeling kind of like howling at the moon, lone wolf style. Speaking of which, I'm looking at it right now. The old girl is beautiful. Never seen a moon this full. And that color. Tonight's that eclipse, remember? What a way to end 2028, huh? 
was this amazing red. If it wasn't so beautiful, it'd be kind of ominous. Wish you guys could see it too, but... Uh, sorry, forgot. You're supposed to be on Mars, aren't you? So, uh, how are Phobos and Deimos looking right now? Sure hope I'll get to look up at them someday too. Anyway, over. Hey, something wrong? Talk to me, guys. What? You gonna play hard to get because we haven't talked in so long? Enough jokes, all right? Knock it off. Where are you guys? Is there something wrong with the radio? You're saying everything's green? Well, then, what the hell's going on here? Why aren't they responding? No, the video feed's online. Look, you can see all nine of them, three at each table. What? Someone hacked our feed? What do you mean, this isn't live? An old clip on repeat? Who would do that? What in the hell is happening here? This is control. I repeat, this is control. Please come in. I'm asking you to respond. This is... Oh, thank God. You really had me worried there. What happened? Six of us are... dead. What? Counting myself, there are only three left. How... why are... They were killed. What? I... I guess you could say I killed them. No. No, that's not quite right. Not just them. Not just these six. All of them. All six billion. Soon, I will have killed six billion people. Are you there? Respond! Damn it. This is control. I repeat, this is control. We have an emergency situation. We have an unconfirmed report of six deceased test subjects. Deploy rescue and escort teams to the test site immediately. Shit. What the hell happened in there? Yes. What on earth Sorry. was that? It shouldn't be auto. Okay. Any ideas? I got only frowns and shaken heads in response. Only one person showed a reaction other than stunned confusion. Ten Mioji. Long after the audio ended, he stared at the screen deep in thought. Do you know something, Ten Mioji? Yeah, I think I know what that was. It's probably a transmission from the Mars mission test site. Mars? I'm sorry, what? You mean some kind of space travel? What kind of test site was it? Hmm. Did you know that the government is developing spaceships with particle annihilation engines? These ships would be able to get humans to Mars a lot faster than old chemical rockets. But they don't want to just send a manned Mars mission off half-cocked. That was the idea behind this test. They built a whole complex on this old Air Force base in Nevada. The idea was that it would be a simulation of a manned mission to Mars with a crew of nine men and women. They'd monitor the whole thing and use that data to plan the real mission. So what we just listened to was a transmission from that project. Yeah. Why is something like that here? Don't know why. We found it in the safe. No explanation. Dollars to donuts, it's got something to do with Zero's plan. You mean we were meant to hear what was on that card? Yeah. It's all very interesting, but how exactly do you know about all this? Oh, about the simulated Mars mission? Yes. I was involved with the project. Involved? Now, the intent was to create as accurate a simulation as possible. That meant we'd need to simulate the radio silence we'd experience during conjunction. What's a conjunction? It means two things in space are close to each other. In this case, we're talking about a superior conjunction, where Mars and Earth are on the exact opposite sides of the Sun. So unless we've got some sort of relay, there'll be a period of time where we won't be able to communicate with each other. What we heard on that card was when the simulated conjunction was scheduled to end. That's when they died. Well, we don't know that. They could have died long before that conversation. All we know is that's when it was discovered. So six of the test subjects died, right? Yeah. 
Well, do you remember what she said? There was something about how she didn't just kill six people. She said six billion. What the heck did she mean by that? Just what the hell happened there? Ten Miyoji frowned and looked down at the floor. We were all silent as he paced slowly back and forth across the room. At last, he stopped, raised his head, and spoke. The truth is that there's a chance a virus escaped from the test site. A virus? Wait, you don't mean... Yeah, Radical Six. What? How can that be? I'm just telling you what I know, okay? Nobody's sure how Radical Six got in there in the first place, but... One of the subjects might have been infected when they entered. Or the virus itself might have been an intentional part of the simulation. The test site deaths became the index case for a pandemic. Anyway, prevailing wisdom says it got out somehow. And once it was out, it spread pretty quick. All across the planet. And it killed six billion people? No, not directly. Best numbers put only a third or so of those deaths as directly caused by Radical Six. The other four billion died from the collapse caused by the deaths of that first third. The whole world just... fell apart. Wow, um... Damn, I have... A lot of questions. I don't even know where to start. I... I don't even know where to start knowing where to start. Well, no. Take that back. Explain that date. Unless I heard this wrong, the day the Radical Six got out was December 31st, 2028. Yeah. But the day I got grabbed by the guy in the gas mask was December 25th, 2028. Me too. Christmas Day. I was kidnapped on Christmas, too. Clover and I were taken three days earlier, on the 22nd. Yeah. You see what I'm saying, right? That recording was made close to a week after we were all picked up. What the hell is going on here? That thing is from the future. You see... Ten minutes remain. Until Ambidex game polling closes. All players, please enter your votes. If no vote is recorded before the deadline has passed, any non-voting parties will automatically ally. We're out of time. We need to go back to the warehouse. Wait! You have an answer, don't care. I need more than 10 minutes to explain everything. Half-assing it is just gonna make you more confused. Now get moving. But- That's enough! Shut your damn hole or I'm picking the tray! Uh, hey, come on now! Fine. Do what you want. But I need to get back to the AB rooms. I'd like to stay with Quark. He seems to be doing all right. I'll stay here with him. So he's not staying this time. He's not. He's voting this time. Because mm -hmm. in the other route, he was like, I gotta stay with Quark. Yeah, that's why I think he's gonna pick Betray. Mm. Why would he want to get back so bad? But Luna's gonna stay. If I can do the voting for our pair, I can trust her. Is that all right with you? Yeah, sure. <laughs> well, yeah, sure. If you'd be willing to do that, I'd be much obliged. Thanks, Luna. Take good care of her. Of course. I'll make sure everything goes fine. Ten Miyoji gave her one last nod, then turned and dashed out of the infirmary. We are betraying. You want to betray Ten Miyoji? Yeah, one hundred percent. Well, that's that, I guess. We should probably be going too. Yes, we'll just have to wait to hear the rest of what he has to say later. I'd rather just get it all out in the open now. But there's not much we can do. Let's get going then. Music stopped. Ah, now it's this boring shit again. We returned to the warehouse to find only Kay. I explained what had happened with Quark, then glanced around the room. Hey, where's Dio? He has gone into his AB room. Already? Indeed. 
Then he opened the first A-B gate, right? Of course. <laughs> Duh. <sighs> this is bad. I won't be able to talk with him. This is going to limit my choices. You've only got one BP left, don't you? Yeah. Betray girl. It's the same. If Phi chooses ally, and Dio picks betray... Phi and Luna will be penalized. Uh, I don't have a choice. I'll have to pick betray. The risk with ally is just too high. Hey Alice, don't you have one BP too? That's right. But Kay and I will be playing against Quark. And he'll just default to ally. I guess you don't need to worry about getting penalized then, huh? What if Alice and Kay choose Betray? You needn't worry. That will not happen. Even though, as you have told me, Quark is recovering, he is still weak. Moreover, he is only a child. To betray an innocent child would be... Yeah, that would be unthinkable. Even if you ignore his age or condition, it's hardly fair to take advantage of someone who can't vote. So you'll vote to ally? Yes. Of course. Well then, shall we go? Yes. Interesting. Kay and Alice nodded to one another and disappeared into the A-B room, second from the right. They were fine with betraying Tenmyoji in the other route. Well, Kay was fine doing it. Mm-hmm. Alice apparently was knocked out. Yeah, he like Remember? knocked her out, yeah. yeah. Without saying anything, Phi turned and walked into the room just left of theirs. Choose Betray, Phi. <laughs> Don't try to be high and mighty, Dio's gonna do you dirty. That left only myself, Clover, and Temioji. Do you remember what you said to me when you chose the blue door? Something about how you'd convince me to choose Ally? Seems like now would be the time to let me know how you're going to convince me. Well, it's not that complicated. I promise you that Clover and I will vote ally. That's it, pretty much. <laughs> I see. And you figure I'll believe you because you've only got one BP. Once you've told me that you plan to ally, I won't be able to choose betray. Since if you're telling the truth... You'll kill me. Not a bad plan, but it assumes that I've taken killing you off the table. Seems like a risky bet for you. I disagree. Why is that? Clover's BP is six. If you ally and we betray, then she'd have enough points to escape, right? She could run off through the number nine door as soon as this round is over. I'd never. That's easy for you to say. It's like, shut up. <laughs> Yeah, exactly, like, <laughs> shh, oh, sorry, shh. I was thinking elbow to the throat. <laughs> That's a little violent, though. Think about it from my perspective. Sure, you might not, but you also might. If I guess wrong, that's a pretty big loss for me. Well, what if Clover tries to seduce you to get what she wants? What? Huh? That's just an example. What I'm trying to say is that once you two are in that room, Clover might try and make some sort of bargain with you. I'm asking what you're going to do if that happens. Are you sure you'll still choose Ally? Seduce me, huh? <laughs> hey! He can only dream. <laughs> what are you staring at, you perv? There's no way on earth I'd do anything like that! Ugh! As if! In your dreams, creep! Well, that's that then. Not gonna lie though, I'm a little disappointed. <laughs> so I can trust you. You're gonna choose Ally. Yeah. You can trust us. Promise. Of course. We promise. Alright. I guess I'll vote Ally too then. Three minutes remain until Abadex game polling closes. Well, looks like we don't have much time left. I'm trusting you. I'm trusting you too. Tenmyoji gave us a curt nod, then turned and strode into the second AB room from the left. Right, well, 
Let's get to it. Yeah. I don't know why I'm like wanting to scrunch up and be like. Yours is way cuter than mine. <laughs> the Ambidex game will now begin. Hey, Sigma, I wanted to ask you something. Hey, Sigma. <laughs> What's up? Could you pick Betray for me? What? I mean, I could try and like tackle you. But you're so big and strong, you'd probably just throw me on the ground and that'd be it. Surely she's <laughs> joking. Yeah, well, um... So I thought I might as well just ask you really nicely. Oh, I mean, I'd be happy to, um, pay back. If you just pick Betray for me, then I'll listen to anything you say. <laughs> anything? Yeah, anything. What's happening so here? So think carefully, okay? If you choose Ally, you're trusting him with your life. Yeah, if he chooses Betray, it's all over. Uh-huh. Are you really, really sure you can trust that old fart? Hey now, that's not very nice. The only safe choice is to pick Betray. Is to pick <laughs> But if he chooses ally and we don't Then I'll have 9 BP But you don't need to worry about that Even if I do get 9 BP I won't just go and open the number 9 door all by myself I mean Alice wouldn't have 9 points yet and I can't leave her behind. Please, will you pick Betray? Why'd you have to go be all weird like this? I just wanted to pick Betray. Now you don't want to. No, because she's, she's making a rebel. it weird. The voting machine was in front of me. I didn't have much time left to think. Would I keep my promise to Tim Miyoji and pick Ally? Or would I betray him for Clover and, and? If you just pick betray for me, then if I'll listen to anything you say. For me. In the end, there is only one possible answer. And we're going to come back and pick both, Two. right? Oh, one. yeah. Yeah, let's do betray first. You want to betray first? Let's do betray first, because then we'll come back and do ally. And that's fine. Okay. Because that was what I said before Clover well, made it weird. I mean, Clover has a point. She wouldn't just sleep without Alice. Completed. They're very close. So we think. Results will be displayed in the warehouse. Thank you for your participation. Ambidex Gates. Now opening. The great thing about this choice is now we've unlocked the Clover Sigma sex scene. What? There's no sex scene. Okay, good. Just kidding. Okay. There's no elevator scene? There's a joke. No. I'll be. Is that your idea Results of a sex scene? <laughs> of the Ambidex game. I don't know how detailed they get in here. I would love to see you play Honey Pop. No! Please direct your attention to the results screen. I'm so excited. They allied with Quark. Uh, betray, betray. Betray. Oh! He allied, he believed us, and we betrayed his trust! Oh! Yeah, I bet he doesn't like how this feels, does he? Yeah, I know. So, Clover's got nine BP. She mm. gonna leave. But Kay and Quark both have eight now. Dio, betray. He's oh, such a dork. Idiot. Yeah, five have been assigned or subtracted accordingly. Fi chose the right path yeah. on that one. Like, I, I think it's safe to say that Dio is just always going to betray. So just always pick betray with Dio. Done. Well, it it seems like there is a definite pattern at this point. Well, and he said before that the, betray is the only option you can really do. This is the third straight 
A B game we've seen where he betrays. Yeah. Please check your bracelet to see your updated bracelet points. So, that's how it is, huh? Promises yep. are made to be broken, I see. Mm-hmm. Sorry. I just couldn't bring myself to trust you. I could have chosen betray and killed you. That was a possibility. Yeah. After all, you did choose betray in the last round. That was a completely different situation. Was it? Well, in any event, your idiotic paranoia has given Clover 9 BP. How do you intend to deal with that? But don't worry. She'd never try and open the... Really? Then what's that? Huh? Look, I believe she's standing in front of the number nine door right now. Yeah, she's totally leaving. What the hell? No, no way! <laughs> See ya, bitches! <laughs> she's leaving without Alice, though. Why? I'm gonna go get help. What about my payback? Oh. I know, I feel Another really short. Door. There we go. That, that helps. I'll just block the... She opened it. Shit. Clover! What the hell are you doing? Sorry. Alice gave me an order, though. Clover, you have to get out of here and call for help. My BP's down to one. I'll have to play the AB game at least three more times in order to get to nine. If someone beats me to it, then we'll be trapped here forever. That can't happen. I'm giving you an order as your commanding officer. Escape. You have a weird costume for a commanding officer. <laughs> I know, right? What about the promise you made me? Promise? You said you'd listen to anything I said. So? I am, aren't I? I can sure hear you well enough. Every little word is reaching my ears, isn't it? You... What? Were you thinking of something gross? You're a perv. She's hey, awful. come on now. I'll do anything for you. Ah, Sigma! <laughs> My hero. The number nine door has been opened. It will remain open for nine seconds. I'm gonna need you to fucking pick up the pace, announcer. Anyway, I did what I promised. You don't so have I'll time for this. Clover! Clover! Fucking bitch! <laughs> Not getting out of here! Dia leapt toward Clover with a roar, but she danced quickly aside, dodging his punch with ease. Bye, guys. With a last carefree grin, she leapt through the number nine door. You get it, girl. Mm -mm. Go slay. Mm -mm. You slay in every Oh, nah, uh But she did not just do that. <laughs> You know what? I'm proud of her. The number nine door has closed. This I'm ends joking. the nonary game. Thank you for your participation. You As get the game is over, all doors other than the number nine door have been unlocked. Escape is not possible. Please enjoy your stay. She's gone. Shit. All I can do now is wait for her to call for help. Help, huh? Let's hope there's still someone who can. What's that supposed to mean? Tin Miyoji said nothing, just shuffled off through the yellow door and out of the room. A cold silence descended on the rest of us. It was a silence that promised to remain for a very, very long time. And you lost. Yeah. Game over. Oof. Bummer. Oof. Oof. So we gotta we gotta hit ally now. Yeah. Let's go back in.
an ally. Uh, okay. Dade. Here we go. We'll jump back to the AB game, and this time we'll hit ally, because we know that he, he allied. Right. So, this should be safe. He's not gonna, he's Ally. not gonna betray us and kill us. He's no. just not, he's not, he's not Dio. Right. It's on skip right now, so just get through that. Oh, I wonder what she says. Results from round two of the Ambidex game it's the same thing. will now be displayed. After we voted. Oh, it skips if it's the same thing. Oh. It would have stopped if it was different. Please gotcha. direct your attention to the results screen. All right. Look at there. Now there's four of us with eight BP. Poor Fi and Luna. I know. They just had to get stuck with Dio. No chance to get more points. Yeah. He's um, such a roadblock. Like uh, uh, Alice and us, uh, we, you made we, it back we up and to Alice, three. we got back up to three. Yeah. So that's good. Yeah. Like overall, a net gain of... Um, Eight points yeah. overall. Not a bad Good. round. Points have been assigned or subtracted accordingly. Please check your bracelet to see your updated bracelet points. Ooh, we're three. A three pair. Looks like you managed to trust me. <laughs> well, seems like I made the right choice. I did what I said I would. You really helped me out. Thanks. I could say the same thing. No need for thanks. The corner of his mouth twitched into a grin. I felt myself smile a little in response. Clover, on the other hand, looked less than pleased. That was a bad choice, Sigma. And after I'd told you I'd listen to anything you said. Oh well, whatever. She sighed heavily, shot me one last annoyed look, and stalked off. Yeah, we know what that means, though. Because we saw what would happen. Across the room, Dio and Fi were already confronting one another over their own results. <laughs> you tried to kill me and Luna. Can't say I'm surprised. Oh, don't give me that. You knew exactly what I was doing. I knew you weren't stupid enough to pick Ally. You'd defend yourself with Betray, just like I would. Wait, where's Luna? In the infirmary, looking after Quark. Is that where Alice went to? Alice? No, she went into one of the AB rooms with Kay. Yes, we did indeed enter together. When the doors opened, however, she left, somewhat unsteadily, in the direction of the Cyan door. She left the warehouse? Indeed. Without even checking the results? Correct. There was little reason to check them. Yeah, it's not like Quark was going to betray you. Indeed. Can you two still choose Ally? Man, what a pair of bleeding hearts. If you say so, being mocked for my compassion is a small price to pay for retaining my humanity. Where did Alice run off to? While we were in the AB room, she mentioned being quite tired. Perhaps she went to one of the cabins to rest. Oh, well, I guess that would make sense. Is she sick now? An ominous rumble filled the warehouse. The Ambidex gates have closed. Round three of the Ambidex game will be the star round. Star keys are required to open the gates. There is no set limit on usage of the star keys. The Ambidex gates can be opened as many times as the players wish to open them. What? We can open the gates as many times as we want. Huh. That means the star keys can be used to play the AB game any number of times. If I understood that announcement correctly, that is. Hey, didn't Zero Junior say something about this? 
As soon as the gates close, your colors get all shuffled up automatically. The pair of solo assignments hop around a bit too. Yeah, he did. Can you guys all show me your bracelets? I want to see what all our colors and groups are this time. Within moments, a series of wrists were extended for me to examine. Okay. Oh. So that's Tenmyoji's hand. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> that's K's. Was that ours? I think that's... Oh, maybe. I think it's Sigma's. I oh wait, no, Dio. we have eight. Yeah, we have eight, so that's... Dio? No, we have three. Oh yeah, we have three. You're yeah, right. Yeah, that's Dio, I think. That's that us. might be us. That's us. <gasps> Ooh, we're a solo this time. Huh? Looks like all the colors are weird. Clover's a cyan pair, and Phil... Phil. <laughs> Phi's a magenta pair, but Temioji's a yellow pair. The three solos are red, green, and blue. K's red, Dio's green, and your blue. Now are we supposed to group up for the chromatic doors? I think they're gonna be white this time. Oh yes, Dio told me about them. Very interesting. Yeah, they're white, all of them. I had a good look while I was waiting for Sigma to show up down in the warehouse. You should have seen them too, Fi. Yeah, I did. You're talking about the doors in the Floor B warehouse, right? Yeah. So, lay it on us. How are the groups gonna shake out this time? Fi nodded and began to explain. Option A. Tenmyoji, yellow, and me, blue, would form one group. Fi, magenta, and Dio, green, would form another group. Clover, Cyan, and K, Red would form the third. Huh? Wait, you mean there's only one option? Yeah. There's no other way we can group up to make white. Alice, Luna, and Quark aren't here to show us their bracelets, so we don't know for sure what their colors are. But it's pretty clear they'll all be pairs, since none of the pairs here have a partner. Oh, there's only one possible... Oh, combination, I see. Because yeah. it's like their opposite color. Uh-huh. So they'll be yellow, magenta, and cyan, right? Right. All right, what now? We've got plenty of time until those white doors open. Yeah, about an hour, looks like. I'm gonna go find Alice. Of course. I'll come with you then. Clover gave her a shrug, and the two of them headed out through the cyan door. I like that the door is open from the single. Yeah. Do I really need to say it? The infirmary, right? You're going to ch go check on Quark? Yeah. He gave me a nod and trotted out through the yellow door. That left only three of us. Dio, K, and Sigma. Myself. What are you guys gonna do? Ooh, sorry. Ooh. Sigma's sleepy. <sighs> Yeah, I think I'm gonna head over to the lounge and have a drink. You wanna tag along, Kay? Are you making fun of me? I find it rather hard to drink with this mask on. Ah, oh, right, of course. My bad. Well, I'm out. Later. With a lazy wave of his hand, Dio slouched off toward the magenta door. It took me a moment to realize Kay was following him. Hey, what is this? You following me? No, you must be mistaken. I hope to investigate Floor B further. There are still several rooms I haven't visited. Okay, okay, you don't have to tell me your life story. See ya. Their conversation ended as they reached the door and stepped through it. All right. What should I do? Tonight's that eclipse, remember? What a way to end 2028, huh? Of course. I need to get the rest of that story out of Temioji. 
The words were scarcely out of my mouth before I set off at a dead run down the hallway and toward the infirmary. You said scarcely. Yeah. Scarce. Scarcely. Can it also be pronounced scarcely? Can it? Oh, I've never heard it that way. Yeah, I've heard it both ways. Scarce. Scarcely? Uh Uh-huh. Scarcely. Well, I think this is actually like a good spot. I was thinking that too. To end it. Oh, there's nobody here. <gasps> what? Timmy, you not here. Mystery is oh, Where is he? Okay. That lying bastard. Well, today is Friday. <sighs> Friday, Friday. Um, here's the deal, guys. Here's the dealio. <sighs> I'm gonna sit, sit with back. us a little bit. Put my feet up. Um. No videos this weekend for Virtue's Last Reward. We're going to pick back up on Monday. So uh, we're going to do the same thing that we did with 999, where we uh, only post new episodes on weekdays. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. That way, if you're too busy during the week to watch the episodes, you can catch up over the weekend. And also, if you'll notice, when we played the three Danganronpa games, there were often times where we would fall behind where we'd be like a week behind or sometimes, I think there was a period there where we didn't upload for a month. Yeah, that was my fault. I was falling apart a little bit. Um, but we didn't skip a single day with 999. So I think this is, I think this weekday only thing is gonna, is gonna work out for us. Because we need a break too. Yay, people. All right, we both, we both stream a few times a week and You're Kimmy's doing got her videos. podcast and I've got my main channel videos. So this is kind of, not gonna lie, this is like totally extra. <laughs> yeah, but it's fun. It's fun, it's, but yeah, I'm just saying great. like we can't we can't be uploading an hour video every day. No, that's outside of what we can really keep up with. So, so and yeah. that's okay. Part nine will be coming on Monday, but uh, if you want something more to watch and you haven't seen the Danganronpa games and you're liking this, you might like them too. Yeah, they're fun. Very similar in a lot of ways. Um, and there's full playlists of that. That's that's like hours and hours and hours. Hours. Hours and All hours, the hours. And hours and More hours. hours than the weekend holds. So. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, uh, so what are your thoughts real quick? Um, I'm wondering if Alice is sick with Radical Six. Sorry, I know. fuzz over there. I know. I'm trying to block it. There's no way. There's no way to make it perfect. No. Uh, I'm, I'm wondering if Alice is sick with Radical Six. If maybe it's infecting people slowly. And so we're going to have to keep finding, like, what is it, Axavil or whatever? Excelivir. <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> um, I'm also wondering, because I think it's weird that all ice slash Alice is here from the last game. So what if she's like deteriorating or something? Like, is she really the thought out princess from Egypt, you know? Mm. Cause that's still something I'm thinking about and that I want an answer to. Right. I also want an answer about K. Freaking K. Is he actually a robot? Is he just a guy inside a robot suit? Is he snake? Is he snake? Is he, yeah. Like, what's going on here? Because he can see. So it'd be interesting if he was Snake and the suit allowed him to see. Right, yeah. And that's why he has to wear the mask. Yeah. Can he take it off? Does he know? As we've noted before, and other people have noted in the comments section, he talks a lot like him. He does. I think it's Snake. Mm -hmm. Uh, And, of course, the obvious question, why are we even freaking here? But now we have a mission to Mars! I'm glad that there's more mystery being added than just, like, What's going on? Another nonary game? Why? Yeah. Yeah. Like now we're starting to learn Radical Six. Like, is everyone on Earth dead? Mars. Tim Yoji seems to know a lot. So he seems to have been picked up later than us. But how much later? He didn't say when he was kidnapped. Mm mm. So hopefully in this. The rest of us did. Hopefully in the next section we'll find out. Everyone else in that room did. Yeah. Although uh, Dio and Okay, of course, wouldn't remember. Yeah, he doesn't remember. He doesn't remember anything. Yeah, D.O.K. and uh, Cork and Timioji are the only ones that we don't know the date that they were kidnapped. Now we right. got everyone else. It's uh, Alice we, and Clover were kidnapped on December twenty second, two thousand twenty eight, and us. Fi and Luna all Christmas. 
Yeah. Wait, did Luna say when she... She said Christmas. Okay. Yeah. Oh, because we were in the infirmary. Okay, right. Yeah. I was thinking we were in the warehouse when we had the conversation. So... So yeah, so we need to find out when everyone else was kidnapped, because I have a feeling it's a lot later. Mm. I think we've been kidnapped for a while. Like, years maybe. Interesting. I'm excited. I'm excited to see what's going on. Years? Well then wouldn't people notice if they were years older? Maybe? Okay. Well, I don't know. we'll find out. Uh, oh. Not all the answers to everything we were just talking about, but we'll find out what happens next on Monday. And by the way, some of you guys have been really bad about, like, tangential spoilers in the comments. I've had to scrub them a couple times. Guys! Just an FYI, like, I've played this game before, so when I'm on the video and I'm acting like I don't know something, or if I'm talking about, like, oh, they could be da 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 da, -da because it said da 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 I'm putting myself in in the what we've played in the game so far is shoes right just trying to like work through it because i have mean, not it doesn't played. mean that i'm that we need illumination right because the purpose of the game is to learn this stuff <sighs> not to get spoiled through yeah. comments or other sources so. and sometimes when kimmy asks a question i say i don't know even if i do because it would be a spoiler to say anything else yeah so keep that in mind when you're <laughs> answering questions in the comments. Thanks. Some of these questions don't need answers yet because we'll find them in the game. Yeah. It's... That's why we're playing it. Yeah. <laughs> that's the purpose of us playing this game. I don't get some of you guys, but... Anyway. Alright, let's, uh, let's end it. Let's have some fun today. Think critically! <laughs> <laughs>